family isn't proud of it now. Jackie Dean. Here's a good public service target. How about reducing the reoffending rate by 25% by 2017? What do you think about that? How is that for a target? This is just the kind of target that Labour would label as being meaningless. Well, I can tell you that the people who will feel safer in their homes don't think it's meaningless. Interesting, Chris Hipkins also said it's meaningless if you don't do anything to back it up. That's right. So, and Chris Hipkins, I absolutely agree with him. It is meaningless if you do nothing to back it up. Well, here's the good news because in the national government we are doing a lot to back up the excellent target of reducing the number of prisoners by 600, 600 less prisoners by 2017 and 18,500 fewer victims of crime each year between, by 2017. How are we going to do that? How is the national government going to do that? to reduce re-offending in our prisons. Well, I went to Rimataka Prison last week and I spent time with a young prisoner in a workshop. And let me tell you about that young prisoner. He was a young man, he looked like he was in his early 20s and he was, well, Mr Hipkins knows a lot. Mr Hipkins thinks it's meaningless, but I disagree actually, because I spoke to this young prisoner in Rimataka Prison who is doing an NZQF qualification inside Rimataka Prison. Do you know what he was doing? He was doing an NZQF course in Brick Lane. He was building uh, letterboxes just like they build in Christchurch and he was really proud of his work. I talked to him. He was enjoying the work, he was treated just like a trainee for the purposes of this course, not like a prisoner. He was enjoying having to be there at 8 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. He enjoyed learning a trade. And do you know what he was really looking forward to, this prisoner? This prisoner was really looking forward to doing the next course because the next course was even more challenging for him. He was looking forward to doing the next course in sheet metal work. And that is another NZQF course that that prisoner was looking forward to. And do you know what he was looking forward to after that? He was looking forward to finishing his time, getting back out into the community and getting a job. Now, if that is walking the walk, then this government is doing that, Mr Speaker. We know very well why, why there is such a high re-offending rate, rate in our prisons, and that is because prisoners have got issues with literacy, prisoners have got issues with numeracy, there is drug and alcohol dependence. This is well known as a factor for re-offending, so this government is doing something about it. Not only are we setting excellent targets to keep our communities safer, but we are doing something about it. For example, even remand prisoners who may only be in prison for a short time are now being offered interventions for alcohol and drug treatment. And I met other, another young man last week in my town, and this young man was on a downward spiral. He had mental health issues, he had certainly drug and alcohol dependency issues, and he was increasingly getting into trouble with police. We know where that young man may end up because the likelihood is there that he may end up uh, in Milton Prison on remand. Well, there in Milton Prison, that young man on remand is going to be offered drug and alcohol interventions. That young man on remand in Milton Prison is going to be offered courses in literacy. This is a government which is committed to re-addressing re, re the drivers of crime and reducing re-offending by 25% by 2017. And if that isn't a worthy goal, then Mr Speaker, I invite the members opposite to indeed tell me what is. Mr Speaker, in the last year, prisoners gained recognised NZQR qualifications. 85,000 credits were earned by prisoners in the, in the prison system last year. Level 2 certificates, fantastic. 
If you've got a level two certificate in a trade, then you're more likely to get a job. Guess how many of those were earned last year? Over 700. That is a fantastic result. What a wonderful opportunity to reduce reoffending in New Zealand. Order the right Honourable Winston Peters. My, how zealous they are when they don't know what's going on.